Sometimes, when archaeologists are making discoveries, they'll come across things that leave them shocked and confused. Frightening things from the past might be on display in sacred places as reminders of holy entities. Whether they're unsettling masks made by the Aztecs or bejeweled skeletons left in churches, here are the creepiest relics and artifacts ever discovered. Hey everyone, how's it going? Are you guys ready for another action-packed American Eye video? Let's check it out! But first, quick shout out goes to Pitmaster for Life for leaving us this comment on our recent zombie apocalypse video. American Eye has unleashed the beard, and we hope you're all ready for it. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave us a comment for your chance to get featured. Number 13. The Blessed Tongue of St. Anthony of Padua The name might be a little bit misleading. St. Anthony was actually from Portugal, but died in Padua, where his famous tongue is being held. Rumor has it that when people opened his tomb, his body was reduced to dust and bones, but his tongue was left lifelike and preserved. They believed that this was a sign from God that his preachings and sermons were true, that God must have preserved his tongue to prove this. People can still see his skeleton and his now decomposed tongue on display at the gospel side of the Basilica at Padua. Number 12. Iroquois False Face Society Masks it would have been a little bit unsettling if you're a European explorer who came to America and saw a native wearing one of these masks. The False Face Society was one of the better known medicinal societies among the Iroquois Indians who would wear these creepy masks. The masks themselves are considered to be living beings of the Iroquois, and they might not appreciate if you call it an artifact for that reason. They're typically painted red or black or both. The way they went about creating these was quite intriguing as well. First, they would carve the mask directly into the tree before taking it off the tree. This gave them the idea that the mask was a living creature. In modern times, the Iroquois have joined the trend in getting their stuff back that's being kept in museums. Number 11. Mary Magdalene's Arm Mary Magdalene was one of Jesus' closest followers and was present during the crucifixion and resurrection. She is considered to be a saint with the Catholic, Eastern Orthodox, Anglican, and Lutheran churches, while other churches consider her to be a loose woman. A man named Saint Hugh decided that everyone should be able to see her arm. He was reportedly shown her arm by monks and first attempted to bite off her finger with his front teeth. When this attempt was unsuccessful, he managed to bite them off with his back molars. Despite the protests of the monk who showed him the arm, he finally gets the fingers back home safely and is dubbed as a saint for all this. It has to be one of the most bizarre stories of becoming a saint. Either way, the arm has been on tour and it might be best to hide her fingerless arm somewhere safe from psychos like this guy. Number 10. Alexander Peta's Mask this next creepy artifact belonged to Alexander Peden, who needed to wear a mask while on the run from the Scottish government during the mid-1600s. After refusing to stop preaching about Presbyterianism, which was against the rules at the time, he would continue to preach in secret locations, in private houses, and so on. After becoming a wanted man, he needed a good disguise, and the only thing he could really think of was to make a mask. His face was rather well known, and by covering up with something like this, it could help him out. The mask sported a red beard, a wig, wooden teeth, and feathers around the eyelids. He would also begin to preach while wearing this mask, and no one really questioned him on why he was wearing it. Eventually, he was captured and spent over a decade in various prisons. Number 9. The Horn Helmet of Henry VIII This strange design is technically called an armet, which means horn helmet. This was a gift presented by the Holy Roman Emperor in 1514. The craftsmanship on this helmet made King Henry want something a little bit better each time, and his standards got increasingly more specific, even though this is one of his favorite pieces. What makes this design unique is how it covers the entire face for protection, and the armets aren't typically in English design. Number 8. Buddha's Tooth after Buddha was cremated, one of his teeth was found intact by his disciple Kema. Kema presented as a gift to King Brahmanada, the ruler of Sri Lanka at the time. It's currently held in the city of Kandy, Sri Lanka, and has even played an important role in local politics. It's believed that whoever holds on to this holy relic will successfully govern the country. Kandy is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site because of the holy temple here. Rituals are performed three times a day, and the tooth is given an herbal bath with scented water and fragrant flowers. The holy water is believed to contain healing powers and preserves the tooth from decay. If that's the case, Buddha should really consider making some toothpaste. The tooth has an unbelievable history and was even held for about $100,000 ransom at one point. Number 7. The Aztec Whistle 
The Aztecs and many Mesoamerican civilizations are known for possessing some of the creepiest and possibly extraterrestrial artifacts. One of those artifacts is known as the Aztec Death Whistle and didn't make your typical noise you'd expect from a whistle. It almost sounds like the screeching noise made by a lobster as you blow it alive. No one is exactly sure what it's used for, but it was likely used during human sacrifices. Others theorize that the screeching whistle was used during battle to intimidate their enemies. However, in 1999, an Aztec whistle was discovered clenching the hands of a sacrificial offering to the wind god. Typically, the instruments are made of jade, stone, and clay. Number 6. Shroud of Turin Is it possible that this shroud of cloth was actually the burial cloth for Jesus Christ, or was the entire thing a massive hoax conducted by the Catholic Church? A shroud would definitely try to help the church's cause for the non-believers. Many do firmly believe that this is the true image of their Lord and is currently being held in the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist in Turin, Italy. Popes have described it as an icon, the holy face of Jesus, and a mirror of the gospel. Some serious words from some pretty important people. However, Carbon Dane hasn't really backed them up too much. A Swiss Federal Technology Institute conducted with 95% confidence, the shroud dates back to 1260 to 1390 AD. But what about the 5%? The red stain did contain iron oxide, which is found in blood, but still could be anyone's blood. The shroud is a relic though, nonetheless. Number 5. The Mask of the Lord of Fire If the Aztecs were trying to make possibly the creepiest human mask possible, they would have succeeded with this one. It was supposed to represent a god named Zeotecocutli, who was the god of fire, the god of daytime, and heat. However, it's still not exactly clear, and this is just a guess by archaeologists and historians. The eyes are made of mother of pearl, the teeth are made of conch shell, extremely thin sheets of gold for the eyelids, and the rest is made from turquoise. The inner part of the mask is fitted with cinnabar wood where the face would be placed. The mask was intended to be worn and used during ceremonies to tell creation stories and recall the legends of the gods. It currently sits in the British Museum of London where it hopefully won't get stolen. Number 4. The Paracas Skull Throughout time, people have been known to elongate their skulls as a cultural tradition. They would bind their young child's head between two pieces of wood or with cloth. First, you have to wonder why this was done and if maybe they were trying to resemble some kind of creatures they made contact with. The idea of head binding seems rather foreign to begin with. Maybe the practice was introduced to them by aliens to have humans look more like them? With theories aside, the Paracas skulls were discovered in Peru and seem to be the most baffling on this list. They found quite a few strange skulls here that seem to suggest that they were born with that type of skull. They don't match other skulls from cranial deformation and don't have three plates of the skull, but only two. It also has a 25% larger cranial capacity than normal skulls found at that time. The eye sockets and nose are also much larger. Mitochondrial DNA evidence suggests that this skull is not 100% human either. Number 3. The Furstenfeld Abbey Martyr this creepy abbey seems like a normal place in Bavaria from the outside. This 700-year-old church is situated near Munich and holds on to two skeletons of Christian martyrs inside. This one here is considered to be St. Hyacinth and is covered in jewels and golden crusted painting. Despite it being close to a big touristic city in Munich, it's not too well known by the tourists. According to legend, he apparently went on a hunger strike after refusing to worship a Roman god. He was later whipped and passed on at the age of 12 in 108 AD by starving himself. Guards who were watching him became believers of Christianity after they saw him accompanied by angels as he passed away. Number 2. Shrunken Heads Everyone loves to collect random things, whether it's Pokemon cards or comic books, many people have specific interests. This photo here is 100% real and has a strange collection of rare shrunken heads. It really isn't a photo you want to keep in a frame unless you just want to creep out people. The practice of creating shrunken heads originates from the Amazon rainforest where isolated tribes would do this to their enemies. When Westerners came across these shrunken heads, a huge demand for them by Westerners went into place. The British, in an attempt to get more, wisely supplied the tribe with guns in exchange for more shrunken heads. Sounds like a win-win situation. Number 1. Mount Owen Moa Moas were giant ostriches that only existed in New Zealand and are now extinct. The flightless bird went extinct from overhunting and were at one point the largest bird to ever walk the planet. This was where mummified moa remains were found. The claw was found within a cave where paleontologists often find bones of moas, but this was like something they never found before. They couldn't believe how well preserved the giant claw was. One cave system known as the Graveyard of Honeycomb Hill is still believed to carry many remains of ancient flightless birds. But of course, no one found a claw like this. This was extremely baffling to see the tissue and the foot of an extinct creature. 
It was discovered in the 1980s by a group of archaeologists who sifted through old caves. The remains were sent to New Zealand for further research and are on display in a museum. It was analyzed to be over 3,300 years old, but just extremely well mummified. Could they possibly bring back these birds by means of cloning? So what'd you guys think of that video? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. We'll see you next time.